Good morning. Let's uh, start this morning with prayer, shall we? Father, um, I, I come to you with heavy heart, Lord, today, hearing uh, news of my good friend passing again. Um, so many of uh, my loved ones have passed these days. So help us, O oh Lord, today, in Jesus' name. Um, wow. <laughs> I uh, heard the news this morning that um, our Oikos church member for many decades, and matter of fact, uh, before we left America, we had a uh, dinner together and because I wanted to treat them to dinner because uh, their daughter uh, is getting married today uh, in American time. But today in Cambodia is one day ahead. But I uh, heard that the brother passed away the day before. So literally two days before his daughter's first daughter's uh, wedding, he passed on with a heart attack. Wow, I don't know. I don't know how to uh, put it all together. Uh, so I woke up early as usual, uh, did my 70 minute swimming, came home very happy. Uh, and I saw my wife's face and she said, honey, something happened and I, I knew I mean that, that look always means someone died and so I didn't know it was going to be someone that so close to us so excited to see their daughter getting married and we just recently had dinner together and we've been <clears throat> after Oikos ministry was done for me uh, we would actually have our annual uh, meals with him and he and his wife and been such a beautiful couple uh, well, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna share about the genealogy of Adam. <laughs> and it constantly talk about death. I mean, that has become real. Um, I'm going to just read uh, Genesis 5, uh, 25 through 32. When Methuselah had lived 187 years, he became the father of Lamech. After he became father of Lamech, Methuselah lived 782 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Methuselah lived a total of 969 years. And then he died. He lived longest, 969 years. The shortest life was followed by the longest. At 365, and it was taken, no longer there, right? And Methuselah lives 969 years. When Lamech had lived 102 years, he had a son. He named him Noah and said, he will comfort us in the labor and painful toil of our hands caused by the ground the Lord has cursed. After Noah was born, Lamech lived 595 years and had other sons and daughters. Altogether, Lamech lived a total of 777 years, then he died. After Noah was 500 years old, he became father of Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Jephet. Noah means to rest. Uh, Matthew Henry writes a very interesting um, commentary on this. 
Methuselah signifies he dies. There is a dark ascending forth, namely the deluge, which name came the year that Methuselah died. He lived 969 years, the longest that man ever, ever lived on earth. But the longest liver must die at last. Noah signifies rest. His parents gave him that name with the pr prospect of his being great blessing to his generation. Observe his father's complaint of the calamitous state of human life by the entrance of sin, curse of sin. Our whole life is spent in labor and our time filled with continual toil. God having cursed the ground, it as much as some can with the utmost care and pains to get hard livelihood of our comfort us. It, signif it signifies not only that desire and expectation, which parents generally have about their children, they will fill the comfort to them and helpers, though they often prove otherwise. But it signifies also the prospect of something more. Is Christ ours? Is heaven ours? We need better comforters under our toil and sorrow. Then the dearest relation and the most promising offspring may be seek and find comfort in Christ. I used to love Matthew Henry's commentary, but reading this segment, I'm thinking, wow, that is, that's not what Genesis 5 says. <laughs> I think there's a lot of uh, self reading into the text. Father names their children, expecting the best. Is Christ theirs? Is heaven theirs? We need better comforters under our toils and sorrows. Um, on my friend's passing yesterday, he became our church member, 1991, so 31 years ago. And we've been, we traveled together. He came to Cambodia as a missionary support and he was at Siberia as missionary support and pretty much everything that uh, we've done together. Um, wow. Well, I, I don't think I could go on. Um, I guess I could uh, pick up Genesis 6 and talk about it, but no, I, my daily gospel question is, what does your name mean? How does that play out in your life? Meditate on that. I don't know. Jenny and I, we kind of talked about it. Honey, there's no guarantees there. I mean, we're planning our um, annual get together because uh, after our dinner, we said, hey, let's uh, get together because we traditionally have our meals in December because that's when we go back. We usually go back home uh, for Thanksgiving and after Thanksgiving between Christmas, we have some time and we try to meet all our supporters for last, I don't know, 30 years um, and have a meal and share. And we're scheduled to meet in December. But now only way I'm gonna see James would be in heaven. So it's kind of rude, aw rude awakening for me. And as I'm reading book of Genesis about they lived, how many years then died, how many years then died is he didn't make it to 60. He did not make it to 60. So I, 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 let me end with prayer. Father, my, my heart is broken for my friend and, oh yes, I rejoice that he's in good place, but I grieve over the family, especially wife who has to not only deal with daughter's wedding today and funerals in five days. God, 
Would you grant them peace? Would you grant them shalom that surpass all understanding? Because they need you so desperately now. God, comfort them, the family, especially the daughter, God. I dedicated her to you as a child. So her grow and mature and now in the most joyous occasion, Lord, and she has to deal with grieving of her father passing, God. You are beyond our comprehension. We don't need explanation. You just are, and, and we accept that. But Lord, would you comfort all of us, Lord, today? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you tomorrow.